Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a centipede. Hey guys, it's me, Nagato's Avenge. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. And as the title states, I'm going to be teaching you about adrenaline. So what is actually adrenaline? And this is a PlayStation Vita homebrew guide. With that being said as well, one thing I do want to state, this is not necessarily a full um, installation guide. However, this is just some general information and just, you know, a synopsis that I wanted to create in video form to showcase, you know, some of the cool things on adrenaline. And I think it will be pretty cool to kind of showcase on um, a series of these uh, homebrew on my channel so I could kind of give a rundown on what they are for newcomers who are into the modding scene since recently a lot of people have hacked their device on 3.71 slash 3.72 firmware on Vita and they probably have no idea what is like you know Vita shell uh, adrenaline all these other plugins so hopefully these guides are you know very useful to you know the public and I guess it'll be a way so I could kind of archive you know throughout time how you know the Vita scene has has basically um evolutionized throughout you know the whole hacking scene from like when it started all the way to like 2019 with that being stated as well if you guys do want an official guide to check out and you just want to you know see how to do this for yourself i do recommend to go ahead and check out um this card right here or basically my video right here i'll have a card pop up right now on the screen and as well you could join via in the link in the description below if you want to watch that video from there so if you want to basically get your psp uh, excuse me not PSP but your PS Vita setup to have adrenaline then you could just you know showcase that um in that video and then you could come back to this one if you just want to learn more about it as well if you did enjoy this video in any shape or form I do recommend watching my um very first video which is called what is Vita shell and this is basically just a homebrew guide of all the cool things and you know just like I stated before not really an installation guide but just a synopsis on you know what Vita shell is what all that being stated out the way I do recommend to go ahead and follow my social media so you know the latest hacking guides and tutorials from my channel. Not only that I try to you know produce content every single day and I try to drop the latest hacking guides and tutorials around the scene. I do recommend that you know by following me and also hitting that subscribe button and hitting that notification button you'll you know be prone to learn more things about your PS Vita or even my other guys which is for like the PlayStation 3, PS4, PS2 and all that fun stuff like that. With that being stated out the way as well if you do want to be you know in tune with things and want to join my official community i recently made a discord so if you want to go ahead and join my uh, official discord i will have the link in the description below and not only you can meet new people from the hacking and modding community you can also get support for your favorite systems so let's say if you're into adrenaline and you need support on how to set it up and you you know just want to learn how to do it i basically have support channels in my discord and i can help you guys there if you guys you know want help for your favorite systems as well you could get useful homebrew download links so if you need any links such as like Vita Shell, um anything like filezilla i have that all in my discord so if you just want to join my community um talk to me on a daily basis or meet new people i highly recommend to go ahead and join my discord with that being stated as well if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you can feel free to become a patreon by supporting me via on patreon you're helping with the overall development of my channel and with the overall development it takes a lot of time and research and even sometimes money to produce these videos for you guys to watch so just by supporting me even if it's like a dollar two dollars it really does help in the long run and it helps my channel grow so i can provide the best content for you guys as well if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you can feel free to donate via my paypal i will have the link in the link in the description below any of the money that i may receive will go straight back into my channel like i said it will just help with the overall development so it'll help me things by things such as you know equipment tools like a microphone a better camera so i could produce you know the best content for you guys well all that fun stuff getting out today some of the prerequisites um i'm going to state what you need for your vita is and i'll have all the download links in the description below so i'm assuming that you already have a um modded playstation vita for this process so make sure it's already 
hacked, it doesn't matter if it's on Hankaku or you're using the HON Core or the original uh, HON Core 2 exploit or the new one, I should say, and or the Trinity exploit. If your PS Vita is hacked or you have Hancock Enzo, um, you could do this process. As well, it works from firmware 3.60 to 3.72. Um, you'll also need the Adrenaline.vpk. As well, you'll need Vita Shell and a Wi-Fi connection. That's just some, you know, generalized uh, prerequisites for the Vita. That's why if I wanted to um, showcase earlier in the video, if you want a full installation guide, go ahead and check out the original video. But this is just kind of a general mock-up on what you need for this process. So with um, the prerequisites getting out the way as well, let's go ahead and focus on what is exactly Adrenaline. So Adrenaline is a homebrew that modifies your original PSP emulator that's already in your PS Vita using the Taihen CFW framework. This allows your Vita to run 6.61 PSP custom firmware. So if many of y'all guys know, the PlayStation Vita is backwards compatible with the PSP. That's why on the PSN store, you can play some of your favorite PlayStation portable games. So for me, for example, um, I use my, when I didn't even have a modded um, PlayStation Vita, I used to buy PSP games from the PSN store. So I used to buy things like Black Rock Shooter. But with this um, adrenaline uh, plugin, or excuse me, this homebrew, you could play any PSP game. It basically turns your PlayStation Vita into a full PSP. And this is by far, I've tried out a lot of emulation via from the PS3. This is probably by far my favorite, favorite, um, you know, emulation homebrew I ever seen because it's like it takes the whole PlayStation Portable's UI and it acts like a full PSP like your Vita was a actual PSP so I thought that was um really really cool how the um developers the flow and you know other people implemented that to work on the actual original Vita if you guys are you know into more of the tech side of stuff um I will showcase the um github for Taihen CFW so if you want a more a in-depth read about like what does or what it does and you just want to read the github for that i'll have that showcased on the screen as here and as well um if you want to see more about the github for adrenaline and you want to read some of the source code if you're into that stuff as well i will have that streaming on the screen of course i will have links for that in the description below but with all that fun stuff i'm um, getting out the way as well i do want to just give a special thanks out to tcb for helping me with the series and just giving me the general idea to um even create type of video like this but with that being um stated out the way don't forget if you need any help feel free to join my discord and with that being said i'm gonna go ahead on my playstation vita and then showcase some of the cool things you could do in adrenaline and on basically some of the general processes that you should know for adrenaline so i'll meet you guys on my vita Alrighty guys, we're back onto our PlayStation Vitas as showcase here. So what I'm gonna do as of right now is just open up adrenaline just so I could showcase all of the cool stuff what you could do in an adrenaline. So I'm just waiting for it to boot up. If you guys just heard over the mic, um adrenaline actually has like the full boot up even to like for the original PlayStation Portable, which I thought it was a really cool touch as well. And I think it gives some nostalgic factor for me since I love the PSP. But this is adrenaline itself. So you may if you it's your first time, you know, watching this video and you're into like, you know, Vita hacking and you want to know more about adrenaline, it does basically look exactly like a PlayStation Portable. So if you look at the PSP's um X and B or you know if you want to call it main menu it's the exact same so you can do everything like you would on a PSP of course not some things but most of the things you would do in terms of modding on a PlayStation portable like on 6.61 uh, CFW you could basically do within this adrenaline emulator so for example if I wanted to change my theme to another one I can which is pretty cool for this um method so I'm just gonna go ahead and change it to uh, blue just for, to you know showcase that you could do that there's also so other cool things you could do with an adrenaline as well of course um if you hold down the select button on your playstation vita you'll get the vsh menu so if you ever um dealt with a vsh menu on your psp you know that is basically for your plugins you can also do cpu clock on x and b um you could also do some other things in terms of like umd iso mode and you could also run a recovery menu i'll run that right now 
and there's some cool options you can do with the adrenaline menu so if you wanted to go ahead and go into cpu speeds and stuff like that you could you know change that in xmb and also in umd um there's some other cool things you can do in terms of plugins so any basically uh playstation portable plugins or any um adrenaline plugins that you want to install maybe with auto plugin and stuff like that you can have it you know enabled here so as showcased here i have gta remastered um that's a plugin that uh I will have a link in a card right now if you ever play grand theft auto vice city um you know on the original psp and you know the resolution on the psp wasn't great um by using the native uh i think 940 by 566 uh playstation vita's resolution i'm not too sure about the dimensions but i know um if you use this plugin the game will look much better than it would on a psp so that's what that plugin is for there's also some um cheap plugins i enabled with this as well so if you want to go ahead and check Check out that video I will have that in a card as of right now but yeah that's one of the cool things you can do with an adrenaline as well is to basically run um in-game plugins and this does also work with um English patch games or Japanese games that got English patch so if you have plugins or anything like that you could go ahead and set that up from here you could also do registry hacks so if you wanted to resign some buttons like X is basically to enter or you know vice versa circle you could also do that as well but that is just pretty much some of the cool things you could do in an adrenaline vs edge menu so what I'm going to do here is just go ahead and exit out of the uh, VSH menu and get back into the PlayStation Portable um, X and B. One other cool thing before I get started on showcasing the games and stuff like that as well for this process, you can also, if you hold down your PlayStation button long enough, you'll get a menu called settings and you will have the adrenaline menu. So if you want to have actual safe states in your game, you can also do that, which is really cool for here. So let's say you're playing in through a hard part of any PlayStation portable game and you want to go ahead and make a safe state, you can for here. Um, you can also hook up a DualShock 3 and DualShock 4 controller, which is pretty nice if you want a better feel for games if you like you know having an actual controller in your hand so if you're playing games like kingdom hearts birth by sleep for example um probably having a dualshock 3 controller is better for that um also you could you know change your uh, memory location so if you have um your stuff on or your games on like your memory card or your internal storage or sd to vita you can have that all set up as well um if you're gonna have anything in terms of the x and y scale for how you want your psp games to be displayed or how wide the games look you can also do that um graphics filtering so if you want to change any of the graphics um to bilinear or sharp bilinear or anything like that you can for this process i'm just going to go ahead and have this original i don't really want to change any um steps if you want to skip the adrenaline boot logo you can so there are some cool things for that of course there's the credits for the developers here but those are just some cool things you can you can also open up some official settings um right here which is embedded in the playstation vita so if you ever ran a psp game from like the psn store you could basically do these same options with an adrenaline emulator so if you wanted to you know uh, assign a touch screen to a certain button you can for this um if you wanted to you know make your right stick into another button as well you can so there are some pretty cool things that you can do with this uh adrenaline emulator itself so the main thing for adrenaline is games so and that's what i'm going to be showcasing here right now so if i go into my memory stick um, you can see that I already have some games installed. I also have some PlayStation 1 titles. I have some PSP titles. I also got a Japanese patch title game. And also the cool thing about um, emulators and adrenaline, you can actually run a emulator within a emulator. So if you wanted to run basically an Atari emulator, for example, on adrenaline you actually can do this if you know how to um basically set that up if you want a um tutorial for that as well i will have that in a card right now showcased if you guys are wanting to do that for on your systems but what i'm going to go ahead and transfer over to right now is to just showcase some gameplay both for the playstation vita and also for the playstation one and just showcase how um the basically the performance and how they look on my playstation vita so i'm going to transition to that right now now.
you drive like a bitch! Hey guys, it's me Nagato once again. I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video and hopefully you did enjoy some of the gameplay that I showcased for today for the PlayStation Vita on the PSP and PS1 side of things. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and if you want more of these type of videos on my channel, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, but with that being said, I will see you next time in the next video. Peace. So he's smooth.